In this video, I'm going to show you how to master the two-man glitch blitz out of the nickel 335 odd in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And like I said, it just lets you get access to the latest tips and strategies right here on my channel. Okay, guys. So in this video, like I said, I wanted to talk about my 335 odd defense. If you are new to the channel or you don't know yet, I actually just released this entire defensive guide that shows not only how to get phenomenal pressure against any kind of pass or any kind of formation and any kind of pass protection scheme, but it also shows you how to actually cover some of the hardest offenses to guard in the game, as well as just kind of a general coverages that you can use and go in and out of. So if you want to get access to that guide, I would encourage you to pick it up. I think it's a great deal right now. It's just $15 and there's a link in the description that you can click that'll take you right to the website and get you access to the guide for 15 bucks. Now I've been getting a lot of questions about whether or not I'm going to update it as the year goes on. And the answer to that is yes. If patches, um, if patches change this game, meaning a, p a patch comes out and it changes the way uh, cover three zone works, which we're all hoping is going to happen. They're, we're hoping that they're going to improve that. Then I will update the coverage scheme. If a patch comes out that updates the blitz that I'm about to show you or other blitzes in the guide that we have, um, then yes, I will certainly update that as well. We're going to make sure that this guide is functional and effective throughout the course of the Madden season. And this is personally my favorite defense of the game. It's the defense that I think every competitive player is running New York at some level. Most of them are not running the 3-3-5 odd, and I think that's honestly a mistake. Um, most of them are running the 3-3-5 odd, or 3-3-5 wide, and the reason why is because that's what worked last year. The 3 3 5 odd is better this year than it was last year because it has more pressure than just this two-man rush I'm about to show you but the two-man rush is very effective. We're going to go over that right now. So if you want to get the guide, like I said, 15 bucks, it helps support the channel a ton. And um, the link is in the description. Now, the way that I like to play with this really quick, really important, um, make sure that if you're in practice mode and you're labbing this, you want to make sure that you go into game options and turn off auto flip. Okay, turn that off. You cannot run this defense to the other side. It won't work the same. And that is one of the major mistakes I see a lot of streamers doing is they try to run this with auto flip and you just can't do that, okay? Um, second thing that I want to point out is you want to put your best pass rusher um, at this outside guy. So you see here 58, that's Shaq Barrett for the Bucks. You can just hit Y to sub people in, and as you can see, you can go through and sub them in. Okay, so Shaq Barrett is there, and LB Cross 3 Show 2 is the play. Now, I personally, you can audible to any coverage if you want to. I personally, this year think it's more effective to stay in LB cross three show two. That's just my opinion. You can take it or leave it, but that's what I like to do. You can audible to other plays if you want to. I think the blitz is more effective if you stay in LB cross three show two. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do from a setup perspective is we are going to spread our line, crash it down, and then we're gonna drag both of these safeties down into the box just so they can play a little bit better in coverage. Then we're gonna click onto this middle linebacker and we wanna put him kind of right over this guard. And then we're just gonna start putting everybody in a zone. So you see here, I'm gonna spy the nose tackle, put the right of screen defensive end in a zone. Um, and then I'm going to obviously put the middle linebacker that was blitzing into a zone. I wanna keep my user on a blitz. This is very important. And the reason why you wanna keep your user on a blitz is because what's gonna happen is if you don't keep him on a blitz and they run the ball, there's a pretty good chance you're going to get pancaked this year. And uh, this is not a blitz that I would run in a running situation. This is something I would run if I knew they were going to pass the ball and I wanted to play some coverage defense. So we're going to pass commit. And all we're going to do at the snap of the ball is we're just going to run down and then basically run just like a little circle. We're going to circle to the right and then go back into coverage. So down, circle to the right, go back in coverage. And there you see the two-man rush come completely free. Now, I find that this is the most effective way to hold this guard. The guard is really the key to the defense. And so as you'll see here, um, and that, this is also why I really like to use her the middle linebacker. Because the game, and this is also why I like LB Cross 3 Show 2. The game is pre-coded 
to say that the guard's responsibility on crossfire is to pick up that middle linebacker when he blitzes. Because if, if you look here, this is where, like if you follow my cursor, the guard's gap is where he's going into. So if I can kind of um, basically jab in and watch my movement here. The movement is the most important thing of this blitz. I go down, then I turn my hips to the inside. As soon as I turn my hips on the inside, then I'm free to go back into coverage. And as you can see, it's too late for that guard and I can go cover whatever I want to, okay? So that's the two-man rush. It's the best blitz in the game. And let me show it to you one more time. So all we're gonna do is drag this guy down, drag this guy down, spread line, crash it out. And then we're just gonna zone. We're just gonna zone uh, everybody on the field, okay? You can put a spot out there, you can, whatever. And same thing, so I'm just gonna run, basically again, I'm just gonna run down, click to the right, and you see the two-man rush coming completely free. The cool part about this defense is it's actually a very consistent two-man rush. Now, really quick, I do want to point out, if, you're think, if you are afraid that they are going to run the ball, I think this is really important. If you want this to be a good blitz and still have great coverage against the run, um, or, um, and you still want to be okay against the run, this is going to give you good coverage and still make you okay. All you're going to do is you're just going to leave the nose tackle blitzing okay that's going to trigger and tell the ai that we've got four people blitzing so they're not going to get pancaked uh which is super important and what you'll see here is the blitz blitz is actually ironically um a little less effective honestly it's normally more effective it just sometimes practice mode can be a little finicky so let me show you that one more time so again we're just we're not going to worry about dragging anybody i just want to show you the pressure so again you just keep that nose tackle uh blitzing instead of in a zone and I just click to the right. And for whatever reason, it's getting picked up on that left side. Normally, it's coming in. I think my user might be a little bit too far um, over to the left side of the screen. Again, placement of your user is super important. Um, another thing that I've been testing out is like basically trying to put my user uh, back. But as you'll see here, and there you see the, there you see it. So you can have eight to nine people in coverage and still be able to get very good pressure. So. This is why I love the 335 odd. Um, and we also have run defense in the guide. We also have uh, material for the goal line for the red zone situation. So this is a great blitz to kind of build a foundation off of. And this year, I really believe the 335 odd is the best defense in the game. So if you want to get access to the full defensive guide out of the Giants playbook, go ahead and hit that link in the description. There's a link down there that will take you right to the website where you can get, uh, you can pay your 15 bucks, get the guide, it'll email it right to you super simple we got hours of content on coverage as well one of the guys that i was talking with said how is this defense against gun bunch and in my opinion this is the best way to defend gun bunch especially because of the fact that you can put so many people in coverage and also because against gun bunch most of the time they depend on this blocked running back on this side and so you're actually in the guide we show you how to get pressure against max protect out of gun bunch only sending two or three people okay so very effective defense for gun bunch we got about a 45 minute coverage defense where we really dive into what are the routes of the gun bunch and help you understand how to think about it defensively so if you're looking to be really good on defense this year this is a definitely great starting point and then as they fix coverage and we're going to patch that and we're going to update that within the guide for you you're going to find that this will be the best defense this year in my opinion so you can get it down in the description right now for just 15 bucks help support the channel a ton there's a link down there that you click it takes you right to the website thanks for watching the video and uh, hope you get the defensive guide and let me know what you think about it